Hi everyone, happy Friday. Meteorologist Matt Gray here in the 4 News Now, First Alert Weather Center. Lots of changes and lots of moving parts here in the first part of this forecast for your Labor Day weekend. Over the next couple of days, we have a fire weather warning in place. That means conditions conducive to starting and spreading wildfires. So folks, if you see something, say something because there's already a couple big fires we have seen break out this week. We don't need any more. Record heat for Friday, that's one of the factors here. Smoke and haze filling our skies already. And then big changes on Saturday that continue this fire weather warning into Saturday, which includes some windy conditions. So as you go about your Friday, temperatures will be quite hot again. We're expecting upper 90s and low 100s this afternoon and not a whole lot of change as far as air quality. I expect things to stay kind of in the moderate range. Maybe during certain occasions, we'll see some parts of the region get down to unhealthy for sensitive groups, uh, for sensitive folks, where you get into that orange category on the air quality monitor. So because of some of the hot weather, we've got a heat advisory for Spokane, Coeur d'Alene, the Palouse, into the LC Valley and the Camas Prairie, and then across the Columbia Basin and up the Okanagan. Here's what I'm talking about. Even though winds are gonna be pushing out of the south uh, as we head later into the day, that is still gonna push up all this smoke that's been sitting in central Idaho and around Wallowa County in Oregon. It's just gonna push everything up to the north. So even if we clear up just a little bit in Spokane this evening, that smoke is still gonna keep traveling up to the north. Uh, folks around the panhandle and closer to these fires would not expect any air quality improvements as we go through the day. In fact, they might even get worse. So hot, hot, hot. 97 in Coeur d'Alene, 98 in Spokane. Lewiston getting around a 104 to 106. Hundreds, Moses Lake, Ritzville, Grand Coulee, Omac, and down in the Tri-Cities. And we'll be in the mid-90s in the North Panhandle. And upper 90s on the Palouse. So these will likely be records in many areas 98 would be a record in spokane if we do get up there we're also looking at some of that urban heat effect uh, where we'll end up with triple digits in downtown and in the valley and pretty close to that in places like nine mile and mead and liberty lake so this is not going to be a pleasant afternoon when you combine some smoky skies when you combine some of this heat that we are expecting today that fire weather warning continues through 9 p.m saturday that's because we're going to have gusty winds and chance for some lightning in the region. It'll also bring us some much cooler weather to start off Labor Day weekend. Here it comes. A little storm system crosses the Oregon coast. It's in our area on Saturday morning. Cloudy skies with our, where those winds are coming out of the south. That's where we expect to see at least some isolated thunderstorm activity during the morning hours. If you are headed to one of the local college football games, either Eastern or the Battle of the Palouse on Saturday afternoon and evening. Good news there. Most of the action should be done by then. Might even see a little bit of sun come out before the day is done. The rest of the weekend looking a lot better as most of the uh, storm action is going to go up into Canada. However, we'll have to keep an eye closely on air quality as we head through Sunday and Monday. You can uh, check air quality in your region by searching air quality on kxly.com. We have an article that shows you where exactly you can check air quality wherever you might be going. This Labor Day weekend, is this the last hot day for 2022? Well, no way to be sure, but certainly things are trending in a uh, what I think is a positive direction uh, with cooler weather and uh, another system coming in next Wednesday and Thursday. At least that's what it appears like right now. We drop our temperatures back in the 70s in about a week from now so cool down that would help us get kind of this abbreviated fire season we've had this year that would help get it over with uh hopefully we have that opportunity as we head into next week and this ends up being the smokiest day with for most of us just moderate air quality all right We'll keep you updated as things go through the holiday weekend. In the meantime, if, uh, if you're headed out, have a wonderful Labor Day weekend. And we will talk to you again very soon. Have a good one.